Fear is such an amazing, powerful, and lethal weapon, isn't it? Who amongst us here has not experienced fear within the narcissistic dynamic? We all have. It may be their favorite tool. Fear gives the narcissist or the abuser incredible control. We, as the victims, experience fear, be it when we're children, when we're teenagers, or even in adulthood, in marriages, for several reasons. We're frightened we're going to be struck, physically abused, wounded, embarrassed, sexually abused, but perhaps most of all, the fear of not being loved is perhaps the most powerful that I've experienced. Fear has been used as a weapon since before Mesopotamia. Kings used fear. Religious leaders used fear. Either follow this God or you'll die and burn. Even today, in the United States, we have a news program, a 24-hour news channel, that in the lower right-hand corner constantly flashes in bright orange and bright red, alert, 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 alert. It's to instill fear into you because your self-defense mechanisms arise. You don't want to be hurt. You're afraid of terrorism. You're afraid of being struck. You're frightened of this. Do anything and protect me. Meanwhile, you don't really see what's going on over here. The narcissist uses fear to keep us in line, to keep our mouths shut, to give us a preview of what's going to happen if we don't obey them. Fear to a sexual abuser, specifically of a child, is used whereas if the family finds out or if the child tells, that family will disintegrate. That family will fall apart. That family will put you in a home. Somebody in that family will go to jail. Trust me on this. This, this I know all too well. So we are silenced in fear of what may happen because we've experienced it and we've been threatened by it. The narcissist uses fear as a tool whereas we don't really know what's going on over here anymore. We have no self-awareness of reality any longer. But here's something really interesting. If you're no contact with your abuser, if you're no contact with your narcissist, you have nothing to fear. Now, there's a catch to that. We've been instilled in fear for so long, so many years, it's literally part of our DNA. It actually changes the brain chemistry in the amygdala, a part of the brain. And that takes time. That fear, whether we're in contact with the narcissist or not, leads us into how we deal with other relationships. It leads us into how we trust others. I have huge, huge trust issues. But again, no contact 
you'll stop being able to feel safer a little bit at a time. That DNA that I spoke about will start to heal. Your brain will rewire to healthier thoughts, less fear, more safety. I can't stress again how much I realize that even if you're no contact with your narcissist, you still have this overwhelming fear of something. Something's going to happen. If I tell anybody, they're not going to believe me. I get you. I want you to think about this. Fear is used by bullies. Fear is used by abusers as tools to keep you down, to keep you quiet, to keep you in your place. It's a tool by a very, very sick individual. If you remove yourself from that tool, from that individual, I'm going to tell you, one day at a time, you're going to start feeling less fearful. It's been two years for me. And I still have that fear in me. Much to my narcissist's delight, but I'm getting better every single day. And when you no longer fear your narcissist, that narcissist is forced to seek other supply. That narcissist will implode. They no longer have a victim to beat with fear. And you can beat them by staying no contact. It dissipates their ability to be a bully to instill fear into you. I'm telling you, I think this is their most powerful weapon. And it can become your most powerful weapon by not being in contact with them. If you are in contact with them, just make a plan. If you can tell someone safely, tell someone and know that it's going to get better. I promise you, it's going to get better. Fear is a tool used by sick individuals, used by bullies, and used by monsters to control. But you have the power to take that away from them. Imagine that, picture that in your mind's eye that they no longer can still fear into you. That you can stand up on your own two feet and laugh at them. And realize just how sick they are. I'm on a road right now where a lot of people are going to know the factual truths about a great many things. But it took me a couple of years before I can even get to that point. Fearing, I wouldn't be believed. Fearing repercussions and more lies. Fearing that I would be triangulated. There is nothing. There is nothing the narcissist can do to me. Nothing. No longer. I no longer have fear. I want you to feel the same way, but most importantly, I want you to know that you can. It's possible. To shake off that fear. I promise you it's possible to shake off that fear. Fear no more. As always, I want you to have peace. Thank you.